Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Pinterest, and especially over on ZachJackDan.com for all the photos you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? This is Zach Jack Dan back with another Every Super 7 video. This time we're talking about Every Super 7 Ultimates, Thundercats. If you guys hadn't already done so, get on over to Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description or in the card above. And get your pre-orders in for your Super 7 Ultimates, Thundercats figures. So here's Series 1 with Panthro, lion -O, Mumra and Jackalman. Still not 100% sure what the packaging is going to look like. It's not official. Uh, so we'll see what that looks like. And you can see here what the pending boxes were going to look like with the red box, the black slip cover. There was no name on the front, just Thundercats. And of course, this is not the box that they ended up going with. We'll see the real box later. So here's Lionel with all of the accessories with the Sword of Omens, the Claw Shield, Claw Shield with Sword of Omens, alternate Claw Shield, alternate Claw Shield with Sword of Omens, interchangeable hands, interchangeable head, and Book of Omens. So here's the front and the back of the Lionel box. You can read the little write-up on it if you want to pause it here. Here's the slip cover on and off from the side of the box with nothing on it. And again, you notice that this package is actually black instead of red like the prototype showed. And it does say Lionel on the bottom where you can see it under that slip cover. And here's the Lion O Meller box and the slipcover package. And I'd like to give you some comparisons of what the original LJNs look like. So here was the original LJN Lion O with his Sword of Omens and his light up effect and his claw shield. So here is Mumra with his poseable fabric cape. And the wire insert, his plastic cape, his staff, his sword of plundar, his book of omens repaint, his thundarium urn, his rosencrans medallion, and his interchangeable head. And here is the Mumra mailer box and slipcover package. Here's the front and the back of the package with the slipcover off. Again, you can read up on Mama right there if you want to, if you pause it. And here's the slipcover on and off and the package from the side. So here was the original LJN Mumra figure. And it was a Mellaway. You had to get two proofs of purchase to send it in. He had the staff there, very limited articulation, of course. And there's the box that it came in. All right, so here's our Panther figure with his nunchucks with a real chain, his spinning nunchucks, his thunder, his thundrometer, his key of thundera, his wrench, welding gun, goggles, detonator, communicator, interchangeable hands, interchangeable head. All those good accessories. So here's the mailer for Panthro and the Panthro out of package front side. Or in package, I should say. And here's the back of the package and the slip cover on top. Yeah, if you want to pause it here and read what Panthro's package says, you can. 
And here's that original LJN Panthro with his nunchucks. So here's Jackman, he comes with a club, an axe, mutant net gun, a mutant gun, interchangeable hands, and head. And here's Jackman's mailer box in the front of his package as well, with the slip cover off. And there's the slip cover on top of it, in the back of the package, and again if you want to pause it and read that. And so here's that original Jackalman Evil Mutant. It did come with a club and his sash or vest or whatever you want to call that across his arm there. So with that Wave 1 release, they realized that there was two problems, one with Panthro and one with Jackalman. And they remedied that by sending us a new set of shorts for Panthro that were the right color and a new upper chest area for the right color neck fur on Jackalman and along with that they gave us an extra head for Panthro and extra guns for Jackalman. They called it a Thundercats booster pack, free of charge, sent it to the people who had pre-ordered it and it came with some instructions for Panthro shorts replacements which my son and I did over on Zack Legends channel if you want to see how it was done and it was not easy to replace those shorts. So again, there's that booster pack, the instructions, and everything that came in the kit. And here's a comparison of what it would have looked at before and after. So your original Panthro came with the light blue shorts, but they wanted to give us the dark blue shorts to match what it was supposed to look like. And then with Jackman, you can see his neck has actually got the brown color on the new version on the right versus the orange color that was all the way around the neck. So here's all four of series one in package. Here's all four with their slip covers on. There's all four back of the packages. And here's all four mailer boxes from this series one. All right, so let's talk about what happened before Super 7 did the Thundercats. So we had something called Maddie Collector, which was Mattel's website for pre-orders. And it was a grouping called Third Earth that you were going to pre-order these figures from. And so they did release these five figures in their Wave 1. And as you see, they're the same figures that we just got in our Super 7 Ultimates Wave 1, except for one, which is Pumira, which will be in Wave 2 we'll talk about later. So here are your packages for those Maddie Collector figures in the Third Earth. I just want to kind of give you another comparison for what we came from. So there's your Jackman and your Mumra. And there's your Lion-O, Panthro, and Pumira. But what also came from this was the exclusive two pack with the Wily Kit Wily Cat on their surfboards, which we still have not seen Super 7 do yet, which we are excited to see one of these days, hopefully. So here is the mailer boxes for each one of those. Again, there's all those packages together. Backs of the packages with beautiful artwork they had. And then the side, sides of the package with some nice artwork as well. So coming out after wave one as a big bad toy store exclusive, we have the glow in the dark. Thundercats Ultimates Mumra figure. And you can see a little right up here from Big Bad Toy Store with the Mumra figure coming with a posable fabric cape and wire insert, plastic cape, staff, sort of Plundar, Book of Omens, Thundarian, Urn, 
the medallion and interchangeable head. $49.99 will arrive in January 2021. And he will come with a poseable fabric cape with a wire insert, plastic cape, staff, sword of plundar, book of omens, Bundarium urn, frozen crans medallion, and interchangeable head. And here he is looking like he is glowing and the package glows as well. And so here is the actual mailer box, shows Mumra Evil Glow. Here's the slip cover over top, got that shine to it. There's the back of the slip cover and the actual figure in package. So jumping on over to series two, uh, series two, we have Groom, we have Tigra, Mumra, and Pumira. Now Pumira was, um, Part of the original Maddie collector, uh, we had five that came in that one. The first series of the Ultimates was part of that five, so those four plus Pumaro made that original five that we got with the Maddie collector. So if you guys collected that Maddie collector, y'all might have skipped out on the first wave. I don't know, but really excited about this one. Uh, it's interesting the size differentiation. Mumra is huge compared to the other ones, and he does come with Mumut. And the interesting thing is his price did go up on his. However, Pumira's, as small as she is, and with as little accessories as she has, did not go down. So I thought they would have maybe uh, compensated for the fact that one is smaller than the other and just kept the price the same for, for Mumra, but they did not. So here's Groom. Uh, comes with the club, brass knuckles, the seal of Groom, broken seal of Groom, broken sword of omens, Alternate armor with Thundercats logo, alternate head, and alternate hands. And there was the image of the PowerCon um, prototype they showed us off back in. The PowerCon was back in 2018, and they also showed off a Jaga figure, which we'll see later. So here is his front, back, and side views. So here is Groon and his LJN card with his accessories he came with. And there is that 2018 PowerCon, Groon, and Jaga figures. So they teased us back in 2018 that we were getting Thundercats, and they delivered on that definitely to us. And here he is in package with the slip cover from the front and back. And the actual figure in package front and back. The nice write-up of Groon on the back of that package. There he is taken out of the package. And all angles, all of his accessories, and there's two head sculpts up close. Next we have Tiger. Tiger comes with a solid whip, string whip, retractable whip, alternate head, alternate hands. I love the fact that they give so many options for that whip like that. Of course, that's what makes it ultimates. So here's the tiger figure from all angles. And here's that LJN tiger figure in package and with his whip. So here's tiger's slip cover and back of the slip cover in package and back of the package with his write up out of the package. All angles with his whip. Love the different types of whips he comes with. Size comparison with the rest of the wave, with the rest of the Thundercats, and with all of his accessories. Next we have the Mumra, the Ever Living. It comes with the Key of Thundera, Mighty Gyroscope Regulator, Extended Sword of Plundar, Mamut, Soft Cape, Alternate Head, Alternate Hands. And again, he is oversized. 
here is his different side views front back rear side all that good stuff and again this figure is going to be massive so that is awesome there is the original LGN figure with a light-up effect on his back his swords his knife his hood and there's my mutt as a companion on the card by himself but there was another version out there that came with mumra and ravage instead of mum mutt is what it was called back then so here is the massive mumra the ever living package slip cover front and back inside the package and the back side with a little write up with his mum mutt compared to the Pumira box all angles and all the accessories face sculpts up close compared to the rest of the mutants at the time mum mutt compared to the rest of the wave and compared to the lid to a tiny mumra and then here is Pumira. so the one on the far left is the one from the Maddie collector the third earth collection compared to what we're getting now so yes the face sculpt is different um looks like the the brown costume that she had who knows could have been just the pictures um but the super seven looks like it's a more shiny whereas the third earth was more of a dull brown who knows here's what she comes with new legs sling and with bombs belt totem of dara glaive alternate head alternate hands so again for her to be the same price as small as she is with these um accessories it, it actually surprised me the price stayed the same here's all her side views and here is that ljn pumira her coming with her sling so here's pumira slip cover front and back in package front and back And the plastic there, two face sculpts, all angles, accessories, compared to the original, using the weapon. So that is series two. So as these figures were coming to us, they did show us off unpainted prototypes to see the progress that they had so far. They showed us as they started getting ready to ship them and get the packages ready, what they were going to look like, scale and whatnot. And then they showed them off at comic book conventions, just saying, hey, we're not quite ready, but we're making a couple of tweaks here. So announced at Toy Fair 2020, Series 3 of the Thundercats Ultimates, which gives us Jaga, Slythe, Chitara, and Captain Cracker. And there's a prototype image of what the Chitara was going to look like in package. So here they were showing off at a convention, showing all the different head sculpts and accessories. Here's Chitara. Got multiple uh, accessories here got a communicator open and closed multiple hands or staff opened and closed or whatever you want to call it and an alternate head some more close-up shots from that convention showing those head sculpts and the accessories she comes with not painted here's a better look at those accessories she will come with the head sculpts As you see here, bottom right corner, Titara's new head sculpt we got because she came in so late to us. But all her accessories are her right up here. 
Again, here's that shot of the package and the slipcover that looks like Chitara should be coming with. All right, so here's the two different versions of the LJN Chitara, one by herself and one with Wiley Kit. So yes, there's Chitara, finally in package with an extra head sculpt with a light up eyes, finally. They also again showed off prototypes as these things are going through production just to show us what we're going to be getting. And they showed us the packages as they were coming of wave two and three. So here was a slide figure with two different axes, a mace on a stick, and the two different head sculpts. So again, close up from that convention, showing that head sculpt off better. Showing those accessories off that he comes with. You see here slides right up with all of his accessories. Front and back of the mailer box. Front and back of the slip cover. And front and back of the package itself. There's your little write up on slide if you want to read it. No, this is the amazing part is that this slide box was huge. Look how deep it is. And here's your LJN slide figure, Evil Mutant. Comes with just an axe. All right, so here's our Jaka, and at first they only showed us two heads. Got the long and the short, short sword and the plastic cape. There it was at the convention, showing off that bald head. And close up of that too. Jog is right up with all his accessories. There's some nice shots from, I think, Toy Bro of the figure with the soft goods cape on. So there is the shipper box and the slip cover off. Slip cover on in the back of the slip cover. package front and back you got the little right up on Jaga there and you can see that it does actually come with three head sculpts and he's got that blanket as well in the hand and here's our LJN Jaga with the helmet the sword and the soft cape all right next we got Captain Cracker Captain Cracker come with two different parrots, two different head sculpts, multiple hands, and a sword and a wrench. There's a set of wings. You can see his peg leg, his eye patch, his whiskers. There's the mailer box and the slip cover. Slip cover on, front and back. Figure in package. And you can see he does come with two different birds instead of having the set extra set of wings that we thought we was going to get. You can read up that you can read that right up on the back of the package there as well if you pause it. And here's the old LJN Captain Cracker with his sword. Like I said, this was supposed to be our Wave 3, which ended up being our Wave 2, which ended up not being complete because Chitara did not ship out because of some issues that were going on with the figure. So we'll get her later. There's all four figures in that Wave 3. And all four packages. And hopefully Chitara will look a little different because I think they're going to give us something extra with her whenever they send her since she's going to be late. So here's your Series 4 teaser with the snowman of Hook Mountain. 
And then there's the whole wave. Got another mutant, Monkeyan. Got Linkso. And Pumra. So this was actually supposed to release March of 2021. And we're that far behind now with the Thundercats that we haven't gotten this yet. So there's all four figures. You can see the size comparisons and everything. And most of you are probably looking at the guy with the patch thinking, who is that? I don't know who that is. And I thought the same thing. We'll get into who that is. So first off with a Thundercat himself, we have Linkso, the wise old warrior and great seer without sight. Uh, he's got a tile from the Fountain of Healing Water, a light shield, as well as an alternate head and hands. And then another board there, that brown board, I'm not sure what that is. I guess that's his control board he used. Link sews right up with all his accessories. So there is the slip cover. Here's the old LJN figure. And as you see, there was an alternate LGN figure with the light up eyes. So I think it would actually be kind of cool if they gave us two more alternate heads, one with light up eyes and one with light up ears. That'd be really nice, but probably not going to happen now. And then how about since he was the pilot of the Thunderstrike, let's just kind of give us a most wanted list here of things we'd like to see. Since we've got the Thunderstrike coming, which we'll talk about later, how about the Thunderstrike as well? All right, so here's one of our mutants. You got Monkeyan. He's got his cannon shield, his mace, his blaster, as well as an alternate head and hands. Monkeyan's right up with all his accessories. There's your slip cover. You can see Monkey in there. Looking really good. Here's the old LJN monkey in figure with his mace and his helmet. And of course, monkey in would have had the mutant sky cutter. So another most wanted list would it be awesome to see a mutant sky cutter figure uh, vehicle here for monkey in. All right, so here's our mystery man. His name is Pumra. So who is Pumra? Mumra's short-lived Thundarian alter ego. Pumra, the clandestine supervillain, comes with a wrapped sword of omens, a communicator, alternate head and hands, claw shield, and a soft goods robe. Also included is an additional snarling Mumra head that is scaled to fit to the previously released Mumra, the Ever Living. So that's cool that we're going to get that larger scale Pumra head as well. Pumra, Pumra, right up with all his accessories. There's a slip cover. And here is actually what he looked like in the episode. So again, I don't remember this episode, but this is very, very vague here and it might be interesting for our collection. All right, so next we got Snowman. His third earth dwelling, ice weapon wielding behemoth size Thundercat ally, it's Snowman of Hook Mountain. Snowman includes a collection of icy weapon, two sets of alternate hands, and a special helmeted head. Unfortunately, no snow meow with Snowman. Snowman right up with all his accessories. There's that slip cover. You can see that nice face sculpt there. Here's what he came with as LJN with his shield, his helmet, and his spear or staff, whatever you call it. And here is Snow Meow. So maybe one day we'll get a Snow Meow. There was a tiny figure of Snowman with Snow Meow back in the day. That's all four from this wave. Loose. 
all four with their accessories. And all four in package. Renderings of their package, I should say. And their slip covers. So here are some prototypes of this Wave 4. Not painted, of course. And here's a few of them that are shown painted. You can see some of Wave 2 and 3 in package, which again we have gotten Wave 3 now, except for Chitara. But there is you a nice comparison on sizes and some paints for most of them. And guys, if y'all love Silverhawks, you got to love that Monstar figure over there and what size he is. That is awesome. So there's your snowman, Pumra, and Linkso. Again, here's a video of that section there with the figures from Wave 4 and the Monstar. So, of course, we know all the other stuff was renderings. These are the real boxes here for the mailer boxes with the Pumra or Pumra, Linkso, Snowman of Hook Mountain, and Monkeyan. Here's the Monkeyan's slip cover front and back, and actually in package front and back. You can see a little right up there for Monkeyan. And here's all angles for Monkeyan. Here's the slip cover front and back for Linkso. And the front and back of the package with the little right up there for Linkso. All angles for Linkso's figure as well. And so there are all the accessories for Monkey and Linkso. Here's all of the mutants so far. Here's the slip cover front and back for Snowman Hook Mountain. And him in package with his helmet on, got the spears on both sides, and there's his right up on the back of the package. There's all four angles for him as well. With his spear, helmet on, ice shield, and from the side showing how large that helmet actually is. And then the front and back of the slipcover package there of Pumra. And in package and the write-up on the back there. And there is in from all four angles with this soft goods. And both of those with their accessories. And all four figures in this wave. Cannot wait to get these in hand. And here was the shot of the wave when it finally shipped. So wave one did get a re-release. Version two versions of Lion-O and Panthro. So here those are in package. Starting to show up here. And you see Panther actually does have the right color shorts on in this kind. We did get the Thunder Tank revealed. It's going to be 450 plus shipping. Glow in the dark eyes. This thing is massive. There he is compared to the original uh, version there. And here's some shots of it that Brian Flynn showed off to Pixel Dan in his interview. So here's lion -O and Panther in the Thunder Tank. You see the claws are up, the mouth is wide open. A little shot of the artwork for the package. And a close-up of that picture. Here you see Panthro with his Samo Flans is coming with his Thunder Tank. So he can have a tool to work on the Thunder Tank. And there is the box itself. Again, we talked about the artwork. There's the top of the Thunder Tank with the clear dome over top. Another angle with the clear dome, you see the Thundranium there that's coming with it. Back of the tank. 
side of the tank with the hardcover on top. There's your size, 27 inches long, 17 inches wide. All the pieces that are going to come with this thing. So here's a nice turnaround here showing the bay open, the top come off, the cannon go in. Claws are up, mouth wide open. You can see the seats all around there so you can sit multiple Thundercats in the tank. And everything coming back out, closing back up. There's a nice shot of Joe Amaro's drawing scale with Lionel and Panthro behind the scenes. Bayard's design sheet for the Thunder Tank itself as well. So really cool to see that. So as the Thunder Tank start to get delivered, let's check out some of the production shots of the Thunder Tank. The seats that are being made, the treads, or the, here's the chassis all put together, and the inside. So here was our tease. It was revealed to us about a week and a half ago. They actually pushed it out uh, due to some issues with some weapons or something, I guess, for the photo shoot that they were doing. Uh, and instead, they revealed the TMNT party wagon as revealed last week. So hopefully you guys have gotten out there and gotten that pre-ordered if you want it. $450 for that party wagon. But here's the tease we got for the Thundercats Wave 5. And the majority of us knew that this was the more mirror dimension lion -O figure. And so here are all four of the figures in the wave with all their accessories. All four of them in front of the lair. And you notice ja uh, that Vultureman is huge. So that's kind of interesting how big he's going to be. So here's a, our Bengali. Comes with the anvil, the hammer, the forged sword, multiple hands, two different head sculpts, and then the forging table there. There he is in package, what it's going to look like rendered. Slip cover on top with the, pan the Thundercats logo on the front there. Here he is forging that sword, so that's pretty awesome looking. So one of the few survivors from Thundera, the honorary... Thundercat Bengali is such a skilled blacksmith that the, he can reforge the Sword of Omens. This seven-inch scale, full articulated Thundercat's Ultimates figure of Bengali features premium decoration, interchangeable heads and hands, as well as multiple accessories, including the Hammer of Thundera and a forged Sword of Omens. Adept at both wielding and fabricating weapons, the Thundercat's Ultimates figure of Bengali will be an invaluable addition to your collection. For his heads, he has neutral and fierce. For his hands, he has open hands, fists, gripping hands with a vertical hinge, and gripping hands with the horizontal hinge. Again, the Hammer of Thundera, the Sword of Omens Forged, an anvil, a pedestal, and a piece of ore. So that's interesting there. So there's another shot of him holding his hammer and in package. And all those accessories again with a slipcover for Bengali. And here's the LJN version of Bengali with his big hammer. Bengali slipcover front and back. And then package front and back. Using his hammer. And the ore. And all angles. Next, we have Captain Hammerhand from our pirate section. We get two different head sculpts, his gun. We'll go over all the weapons and everything, accessories that he comes with here. This will be a nice villains group to build here. Here he is in his slipcover here with the villains cover on that slipcover, and a nice shot of him with the hand closed. So Hammerhead is an evil half-human, half-robot pirate who has a huge cybernetic arm and eats unicorns. 
does it get any more metal than that? So this 7 inch scale fully articulated Thundercats Ultimates figure of Hammerhand features interchangeable heads and hands and multiple accessories including his net gun. That's cool. One look at the made to order Thundercats Ultimates Hammerhand figure shows why when leading his Berserkers, Hammerhand fears no opponent. So it'd be really cool to get all these Berserkers. So two interchangeable heads, one neutral, one angry. His hands are fist hands, gripping hands, trigger figure hand, and open hand. Then he has his robotic hand, which is open hand and closed fist. He has that net gun we talked about and two pouches. And some more shots of all the accessories and the picture of the package rendering and slip cover rendering for Captain Hammerhand. And the LJN version of Hammerhand from front and back there. Captain Hammerhand slip cover front and back. And package front and back with the write up. With all those accessories, all angles. Alright, here is our mirror dimension or mirror lino. Got that orange color to him. Two different heads, multiple uh, shield gloves there, a couple swords and hands. We'll talk about all those accessories. You see the figure in package or the rendering of it. There's the slip cover, and you do see this is a villain's slip cover. And the lino here with his glove on his hand and holding a sword. Notice this one is pinless. So our original lino that we got was not pinless. This one is. So they've actually remedied that for us. So it has my strength, my cunning. It is my equal in every way. Lino finds out the hard way that an evil mirror image of himself might be his toughest opponent yet. This 7 inch fully articulated Thundercats Ultimates figure of Mirror Lino comes with the tail tail red costume along with interchangeable heads and hands as well as multiple accessories including two different swords of omens and four different claw shields. With all new tooling Mirror Lino features pinless elbows and knees as we talked about. We're often our own worst enemies but in Lino's case that's definitely literally true. You're not seeing double but you will want to see the Thundergats Ultimates Lino mirror figure reflected in your collection. Accessories again with the head, you got your neutral and fierce, your hands, you have expressive hands, fist hands, sword gripping hand vertical and horizontal, your sword of omens extended and dagger form, and your claw shields, you got an open hand belt storage one, an open hand one, a fist one, and a claw with poseable grappling hook. So that right there is pretty awesome that we're getting that. More shots of Mirror Dimension Lino with all of his accessories and head sculpt and then package rendering and the slip cover. And of course you see that he is a villain. Mirror Dimension Lino, slip cover front and back. And package front and back with the write up. Compared to Lino coming out of Doctor Strange's portal. All the accessories. All angles. And here we are with another one of our mutants. We got Vultureman. And again, I talked about Vultureman and the fact that this guy's actually pretty large. Uh, so that's pretty cool that we're going to get a larger scale Vultureman like we're getting. You see all his accessories here he comes with. We'll talk about those in a minute. You see him in package. With the slipcover, another villain. And here he is with a nice shot of him holding a weapon and a canister of some sort, mouth wide open. Most of the mutants are not exactly the brightest bulbs, but Vultureman is the exception and he knows it. An opportunist to the core, he won't hesitate to pursue his own ends at the expense of his dim-witted, unappreciative cohorts. This seven inch scale fully articulated Thundercats Ultimates figure of Vultureman features premium decoration, interchangeable heads and hands, as well as veritable toolkit of accessories. Vultureman definitely thinks he'd probably be better off alone, but once you see the Thundercats Ultimates Vultureman figure, you're going to want to thwart his dream and add him to your collection. Accessories with your heads, you got your neutral and your fierce, your hands are open hands, weapon hands, gripping hands, and also you got a claw staff, 
the shifter, mutant gun, voice imitator, super potion, screwdriver, wrench, pliers, and goggles. Some more shots of Ultraman with all his accessories and his head sculpt and the package rendering and the slip cover. And here's the LJN Vulturman. Vulturman slip cover front and back. Package front and back with the write up. All his accessories. Those head sculpts close up. All angles for the figure. Compared to the rest of the mutants. And with the rest of the wave. All four figures for this wave are loose. Wave 5 Super 7 Thundercat Ultimates. And all four in package with their slip covers, renderings. So Tough as Nails Mandora is a by the book evil chaser, first class with the interplanetary control force. Seven inch scale, fully articulated Thundercats Ultimates figure of Mandora features premium decoration, interchangeable heads and hands, as well as multiple accessories, including her electronic boomerang. Mandora figure looks like she's ready to hop on her electro charger and hunt down some intergalactic criminals. So the villains in your collection better watch out electro charger available separately, which is sad. I wish that would have come with this one. So you got your three interchangeable heads, neutral, alternate hair, neutral, and targeting visor. You have your ten interchangeable hands, two fisted, two open, two gripping, one open with a vertical hinge, one with thumbs up. One pointing and one trigger. You get the electronic boomerang with effect. You have one communicator, badge, ticket machine, handcuffs, and a thigh holster. So this was the tease that we had for this way. We thought it was going to be a full wave. I, well, I did. But nope, it is just literally what we're going to consider wave 5.5. .5. So it's pretty much still part of wave five. It's just gonna be a figure and a vehicle that we'll be able to purchase here. So here's the figure with our boomerang and beautiful hair flowing. And there is our vehicle. So yes, this is amazing looking, but my gosh, is it expensive. So there is your rendering of Mont Mandora in package with a slip cover. So here is Mandora's vehicle, the Electro Charger, the Interplanetary Control Forces Star Officer Evil Chaser First Class Mandora doesn't chase galactic criminals in just any beat up law enforcement cruiser. She uses the amazing Electro Charger to bring evildoers to justice. This highly detailed Thundercats Ultimates Electro Charger vehicle can hold multiple 7 inch scale Ultimates figures while the, they campaign for justice and comes with an assortment of helpful crime fighting accessories. It also features retractable rolling, grippy wheels, and kickstand, as well as a clear flight stand so that it can be displayed as a planetary wheeled vehicle or in flight as any intergalactic flying machine. Keep the bad guys on the run by adding the limited edition made to order electro charger to your Armada of Thundercats Ultimates vehicles. Armada. We only have two vehicles so far, which is the Thundertake and this. So holy cow, we are going to be in trouble getting these expensive vehicles. So what do you have for features? You have one soap sprayer and canister, one soap effect, swappable buttons, control panel, radio with cord, wheel, fuselage, removable panels, conceals the wheels. So you can tell the difference right there where you can have the flight versus the on the wheels. Center compartment for accessory storage and clear flight stand. So there's Mandora on her bike and you can tell there is another seat right behind it. So she can have a pasture on there as well. You can see all the accessories up there. You can see the antenna there, the flight stand, the wheels beneath it. So pretty amazing here. So there it is in package or the rendering I should say. 
And there is your control panel. Wow, check out the detail on that control panel. Got the handles, got the, uh, I guess, gas tank right there underneath, and I'm not sure there. So pretty cool what this is going to look like for our second vehicle in the Th Thundercats Ultimates. So there's some nice renders of Hammerhand, Bengali, and other accessories and what they were going to look like for us. Vultureman and Mandor as well. So those are pretty cool. Nice render of Mandor and his electric charger. Her electric charger. Digital renderings. Showing how the electric charger will work. Got the space on it. You switch out and put the wheels on it. Kick stand. That is awesome. You got a little storage spot there. Nice. So there it was at one of the conventions. Not painted yet. And here we are with Wave 6. They jumped to LJN. You can see the little tease here with the sword. But they decided to do an LJN paint job on these things. So you can see Mummy the Labor Living, Lion Oak, Chitara, and Monkeyan in their LJN colors. All their accessories, which is not very many compared to the other waves. Here's a little write up of what they do come with Lion O. The slip cover, you see toy version there on there at the bottom. In package rendering. Chitara, all her accessories, which again are not very many. Slip cover. And rendering in package. Mummer the Ever Living, his accessories, extra head sculpt. His write up, he is nine inches tall. Slip cover. And rendering in package and you have monkey in with his two head sculpts his little bit of accessories slip cover and rendering in package so yeah, there's those four for this wave and all of them in slip covers and packages so these LJN versions are shipping you see the massive size difference between Mumra and the others. There's Lino's box. You see toy version underneath. There's a the front and back of that slip cover. Inside, you see that right up for Lino. And all the accessories that come inside the box there. An actual shot of him in package instead of the rendering. There's the two face sculpts. Difference in those two. You see the sword. All the accessories it comes with. All different angles for Lino. And compared to the other version and also compared to the old LG and I did not realize that they were the same height there's the difference in the two swords here's Chitara toy version slip cover front and back and her packaging front and back you can see her inside instead of just the rendering her two head sculpts all angles of her figure and the comparison between the two and all her accessories and then compared to Lion-O so here is the slip cover for the toy version of monkey in the back of it as well and the actual figure in package instead of a rendering close-ups of the face open and closed mouth with the helmet on open and closed mouth all angles here of the figure all the accessories it comes with and compared to the other monkey in from the cartoon here is Mumra the Ever Living slip cover back of the package and the actual figure in package instead of a rendering close-ups of the two heads open and closed mouth all the accessories it comes with holding the sword and the knife all angles compared to the original Mumra from the cartoon 
compared to the original LJN toy. Shot of all three Linos and all three Mumras. So here's that full LJN wave in hand size comparison. So here we go with an SDCC exclusive of Lion-O Hook Mountain Ice. So when you take him out in the sun, he actually colors back up. But inside he is all blue like he's frozen. So that's pretty awesome. Two figures in one, right? Slip cover. All his accessories. Two different iced up swords. His hands are frozen. One eye is closed, one eye is open. Right up here, what all he comes with. And here is the scene from the show. So cool little shots we can do of him in the snow. And there he is, taken out in the sun and seeing him change colors. And his face gets red. That's a pretty quick change right there. Alright, next we have a Big Bad Toy Store exclusive of a translucent invisible tiger. You can see all the accessories it comes with the slip cover. Got the whip wrapped around him, that is awesome looking. And there's some shots of him in action. So this Big Bad Toy Store exclusive, Tiger Invisible is now shipping. Here it is actually in package. The mailer box, the Invisible Tiger, back of the slipcover, back of the package, and in package. And there's some angles here showing this invisible tiger. All the accessories it comes with. Nice close up. And compared to the original tiger. So New York Comic Con 2022, Brian and Super 7 showed off some Thundercats here on the day one. You can see at the bottom some of the Silverhawks from Wave 1 and the color. Looking all nice. Cannot wait to get those in hand. But there's your Thundercats, Wave 7, showing off Snarf, Willa, and Rataro. So there's Rataro up close. And all the accessories it comes with. Now there's an accessory right here that he's showing up with on this panel that's not in the image. I'll show you in a second. That little controller right there. Yeah, Willa with her bow, arrows, quiver, extra head sculpt. Extra hands, one of the warrior maidens. You have Snarf with two head sculpts showing off here. Extra hands, a sword of omens, an egg, and a satchel. So that's all they showed off for day one. And then we saw one more reveal on day two of New York Comic Con 2022 with Mongor. So you see Mongo has two different head sculpts, his scythe, or Sith, scythe, yeah. His flame effect there, lightning effects, the hands. Nice little video here of the display with Mandor and package and her bike. So yeah, there's the bike looking good. Cannot wait to get those in hand. That thing is massive. Shots of Willa, Snarf, Mandora back there in the back. There's the bike again. 
electrode charger. Here's the mailer box. What it's going to look like in package. Front and back. There's the electrode charger from the front. And the sides of the package will look like this. All right, so here's some shots from the foosh in hand with the electrode charger from the side on the stand, opposite side. Mandora and all her accessories, electrode charger and all its accessories. Front and back of the electrode charger on the stand. Kick stand there, holding it up. There's the panel, panel modified, you see the stand there, you see her accessories, communicator, handcuffs, another communicator I guess, front of the box, Mandora's interstellar transport vehicle, back of the box. Slip cover for Mandora and her in package. And the back of her package if you want to read that right up. So there's your size comparison of the electro charger to the Mandora figure. So here she is from all angles, along with the side there showing her boomerang there. Different face sculpts and hair. Here's her weapons. Not in use, blasting, throwing the boomerang with the effect piece, front of the electro charger with the wheels down, bottom with the wheels up, taking the pieces off to get the wheels out, and then there's the wheels out. Alright, so now I'll jump into the wave 7. We already know what they're going to be, but here's the official images. There was a tease here with Rataro's knives, so not much of a tease since we already knew what it was on the panel from New York Comic Con 2022. There's all four of your figures. Snarf being a tiny little figure that we're still paying the same price for. I like the sword in his mouth there with that angry face, that's pretty cool. There's all the accessories, and as I said with Rataro, I don't see the little control that he had out there, so I guess they'll be adding that later maybe. But they all have at least two head sculpts, Snarf with three. Snarf has his tail there that he can stand on as well. So here's Rataro's slipcover and rendering it in package. I'm not going to read this to you guys, but there you go. The little write-up. You can see the accessories, the hands, rat's eye daggers, interchangeable dagger flame effects, and interchangeable dagger energy beam effects. So again, nothing about that controller that was sitting out in front of him. There's all those accessories, the extra head sculpt with him winking and his eye open. So there's two different versions of Rataro back in the old LGN days. Here's the silver dagger version and the black dagger version. Then we have our little guy Snarf here. They make it look like it's filling up the package, but it's not going to fill that package up very much. The slip cover, Snarf himself. There you go, read up that accessories there. Neutral head, angry head, happy head. Open hands, gripping, fruit gripping hands. It's got a claw shield, sword of omens, satchel, standing tail with base. That's pretty cool. And his fruit. So I definitely was hoping for more in, in the Snarf package here with maybe some of the extra Snarfers there, but. This is what we're getting. Here's companion snarfin package. Seen from the front here. Then also you come the package from the side sometimes. Then we have Willa. So Warrior Maiden Willa. You can see what she looks like rendering package and slipcover. You can read that up as the queen of the warrior maidens there. Neutral head, smiling head, bow hand, gripping hands, expressive hands, fist hands, open hands, a bow, arrow, gas bomb arrow, quiver, removable dagger, and a bushy. 
but she's a little bug down there, I guess. So there she is, shooting off the gas bomb arrow. And we have Mongor, slipcover, and rendering in package. Again, read up on this. This guy's way nine inches tall with his horns up there. Neutral head, angry head, open hands, gripping hands, pointer finger hands, fist hand, a scythe, scythe, God, I can't ever pronounce that. Flame effect for the scythe, removable horn, electricity effects. So there you go. So that's how electricity works on his horns. That is awesome looking. Here's the LJ version of Mongol in package and loose with his scythe. There's all the slip covers for Wave 7 and the renderings in package. And all four figures for this Wave 7. Here they are together in their action shots. So here was the tease that we got for Ghost Jaga or Spirit of Jaga, whatever you want to call it. You can see the hand that's gold. And you can see the different hands he comes with, the different swords he comes with. I'll let you read that little write-up if you want to. There's the front and the package and the slipcover. Rendering over that is. Here's up close, holding the Sword of Omens. There's different hands. Makes the short sword he does come with. And a nice shot here of them, him and Tigra. And some other prototypes there, LGN versions of the Thundercats. And they're on a bike. Mongor, Snarf, Rataro. Alright, here we go with some shots of our Thunder Tech coming at us. And he is holding this out, so it is not as big as what you think it is right here. But uh, it is a very large vehicle coming to us. Should be shipped already. So then we've got three army builders here with the Thundercats Ultimates Reptilian Brute, Reptilian Warrior, and Reptilian Guard. So reusing of the slide body. But giving us some army building here. You can see the mace and the clubs that they come with. Extra head sculpts, extra hands. So that's pretty cool. There's your warrior. Slide, slip cover, and the rendering and package. Here's your brute. guard so I'm not going crazy but I am getting one of each there they are with their slip covers and in action got a little tease for wave 8 with Hachiman and his sword here and here's actually a wave 8 here four figures again Here's Hachiman, let you do the right up, read up there and all the accessories. You see he does have two head sculpts there, a bunch of hands, swords. Here it is in package rendering. There's that other head sculpt. It's pretty cool for Hachiman. And there's the original LJN. Then we got your Wily Kit, got her board, two head sculpts, a little flight stand, extra hands, a lasso. There's the package. I wish there would have been more with this, like maybe a sail to go along on this uh, surfboard. There she is on the board. And there's the LJ inversion. You got your Lunatax Aluro, two different head sculpts, bunch of hands, 
Got the Psych Club orbs. Agora Talisman, Paper Map, Chest, and read all that stuff. There he is, rendering and package. And there he is with his chest and orb. And then we got your Captain Shiner. Let you read about all that. Three different head sculpts this time. We got the folded arms, that's pretty awesome. Cuffs. Sword of Omens with the cover over top of it. There's that rendering and package. A close shot of that with the sword. So that's cool for wave eight. There is the LJN version of Captain Shiner. So I love this wave eight of Thundercats. All four figures are awesome and much needed. I cannot wait to get the rest of the Lunatics attacks and Wily Cat. There they are in package and all their accessories. Alright, so we got a nice little tease here of a silhouette of a glow in the dark Chitara which will be a Super 7 exclusive. And boom, there she is. So nice looking glow in the dark figure. Again, it's exclusive to Super 7. You have to get it there, $65. There it is in package rendering, all the accessories, hands, the staff, long and short, and an extra head sculpt. Hair flowing and hair down, same face, facial expression though. They say the glow in the dark material makes these things expensive. So, okay, so this is called the Super Speed Glow Chitara. So there she is glowing and in action. So, over the last week, we've gotten several teases for the Thundercats Cat's Lair. See the emblem right here on the front glowing. You can see the eyes glowing as well, right here with the chest. And then there is the entire castle itself, or lair, with the eyes and the chest glowing. You can see just how big this is. Somebody took and lightened up the image and kind of got this image as well of the cat's lair. And then we had lightened up this image as well. Doesn't light up as well, but we'll get a better image here in a second. But then they showed off this image of lion -O sitting in the lair from the back side. So I took and decided, okay, let me measure my line over from his butt to the top of his head. And he is four inches. So when I measured from the bottom of that platform up to the top, he ends up being 12 inches. So 12 inches from the top of the door all the way up to the top of the shoulders. It means that this castle will be about 36 inches tall, which puts the width at about 27 inches maybe wide. So 28, we'll see. That's what the measurements look like for me. And if you look at the old Snake Mountain, it was 36 inches high. So about that same height probably. So here is Toy Habits uh, doing the same thing with their measurements and they got about the same measurements as I did. So we'll see what we get whenever they finally reveal it. So here's the tease for Wave 9 of Super 7 Thundercats Ultimates with Chilla. And yep, we get Chilla. We also get the LGN Groon and Jaga. And then we get our Wily Cat. Now you got about all four figures from Super 7 itself to get a bonus Super Pack. That bonus Super Pack is four heads for these four characters. Now why in the world, if they're going to put this pack out, could they not have just gone ahead and put those heads in these Ultimates Packs, especially for Groon. Look at poor Groon, doesn't have many weapons there, but that's just me. So yeah, all four of those figures for Wave 9, two that I'm definitely going to be getting. Here's the write-up for Ultimates Wave 9, Wily Cat, with his board, his extra hands, and his extra head, without our extra glow-in-the-dark-eyes head that's coming in the Super Pack. Got the lasso and the flight stand. There is the rendering of it in package. 
and in action and you notice cat slayer is right behind him so i cannot wait to see what this cat slayer uh, base or place that looks like next we have chilla from the lunatics she's got her extra head again there is another head and that bonus pack she got some effect pieces here for ice and extra hands soft goods cape a purse an anti-freeze and ice collar a grenade and spray can so there's her rendering and package and in action again in front of the cat slayer. Next we have our LJN toy color or toy recolor Jaga figure here with an extra head, one with the helmet on, one with it off. The Sword of Omens and Soft Goods Cape. Extra hands. So you see the rendering and package. And him standing on the paw of the cat slayer. And then lastly in wave 9 we have the LGN toy recolor of Groon the Destroyer. Again, I'm not sure how in the world this can be an ultimate with only these little bit of accessories, but this is what we got. Neutral head, open mouth head, brass knuckles, and a club. Rendering and package and in action in front of the cat slayer in between the two paws and in front of the stairs. Again with the super pack, if you can get all four of them from Super 7 itself, then you get this super pack here with the four heads from this wave. And yep, two of the eyes do glow in the dark. yeah not a bad wave nine again splitting it though with ljn and the cartoon not sure what to think about that there are the four figures with all their accessories plus the head pack and then all four figures plus while the cat's bored and there they are rendered in package All right, so you can see this conference room table and chairs here has now been revealed. Also, Panthro's workshop for this cat's lair. So here's the rest of the reveals for the cat's lair. Showing all the different pieces that it takes to put it back together. The massive mountains you're going to see, the massive head. There it is with all of the turrets and the doors open and the walls wide open. Also the light up chest and eyes. There it is from the back side showing off those extra pieces there with the Panther's workshop, the weapons room there, the stairs going up to different levels, the control room and the chairs there for the table. So here it is from the front and the side with the door closed. See how deep this guy is with the mountains closed in as well. Backside showing the mountains and also right there you can see behind the steps you got some storage room and Panthro's workshop. Light up eyes and chest. You can see one side of the weapon rack that thing spins around for three different sides. Lion is sitting in the chair. You can place different uh, pictures in the all the different windows. And there's those different pictures for all the consoles. Here's how many of everything you get: all these weapons, the table, the chairs, the weapon rack there, the blasters, and the other set of chairs with the console. There's it spinning one more time, holding a claw and the sword small there. And then spun one more time with the door closed. Turrets open with the blasters in, underneath the uh, claws. Showing your height there, 36.7 inches, width 29.3 inches, depth 34 inches, all the way to the back. If you have it open, it'll be 25.5 inches. Yeah, 
really good looking cat's lair compared to the show. This was the original cat's lair toy we had, which compared to this is nothing. And look, the figures couldn't even really go into the door, it was too big. Back side of it showing you could actually use it as a toy. And of course the tank wouldn't fit in those claws either, just like it won't fit in this one. So yeah, no comparison here. And it was funded. They needed 5,000 backers for tier 2 bonus, 4,000 for tier 1 bonus. Early funding would have got us the key, which they did get. 650 plus 100 dollars shipping and handling. You can see the reveal here at San Diego Comic Con 2023. There's a comparison to the Thunder Tank itself. And again, it won't fit in the claw. There's the early bird exclusive, which people did get. Four inch key. Tier one unlock with the lab, extra glove, and sword. So you can see it right there in yellow. Tier 2 unlock would have been translucent lino, which we did not hit. Showing the funding originally. Got it up to 75. 2,249 backers would still 50 days left originally. 85% back, 457 backers to go. 3,000 backers, we hit our goal. Funded. So they did get the early bird key if you wanted it. And showing some more shots here of it at San Diego Comic Con. This thing is massive. See if figures can stand on the mountainside as well. Underneath the claw, up on the steps in front of the door, and he can actually fit through the door. Back side. Rendering of the gun. Drawings of the playset. Nice little roundabout here. Showing the spinning there. Closing it up. Even the shoulders have guns. Doors opening. Another hidden room there. Five days left. We're at 3,400 backers. All the Thundercats thus far. Some more shots of SDCC showing off Rataro and Mongor. The rest of the guys here. Snarf. Ghost Jaga, which is shipping. We'll talk about that in a second. Prototypes. Jan versions, Lunatics, Captain Shiner, Kitten Cat, and then showing off that we will be getting Wave 10 revealed November 2023, Wave 11 March 2024, SDCC 2024 will be another top secret. Whew, don't know if I can afford it. Wave 12 August 2024. 
and wave 13 late 2024 or early 2025. So more of the ultimates are to come. Hey everybody, we're at PowerCon and something amazing just showed up. So you've got two sets of cannons open and closed there. You can actually open up the paws and then fire the guns from inside. These are actually removable. So up here, right now we've got Chitara checking out everything on the computer. And all of this is backlit. Here is the Thundrillium core on the cabinet. This is the whole workbench. So you can pull your Thunder Tank into this zone. You can take off all your tools and work on the Thunder Tank. You will actually be able to open these doors, rotate it around, and dun 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 dun. That's where you put your Sword of Omens. You've got multiple spots for you to put your heroes and your enemies here at the capstone. So good, we did hit 4,000 with four hours left. So we did get the tier one bonus, but not tier two. Cause we only had to 4,223. And it was ship October, 2024. So that is our two unlocks we got. Showing off at New York Comic Con. The packaging for the Ghost Jaga and the Super Speed Glow Chitara. Also the packaging for the Reptilians, Warrior, Guard, and Brute, which are now shipping as well. Again, this is New York Comic Con, showing up some of the same figures that we had at SDCC. Nothing's really changed with these prototypes. There are the Brutes. Are the reptilians in package ready to ship? Like I said, shipping now. Also, goes Jaga shipping now. There he is in package with the slip cover, the back of the package, and in package. And here are all of the Super Seven Wave One through Five and the exclusive loose. All right, so as a wish list or most wanted list, I need to see and want to see the rest of the Snarfers with Oswald, Snarfer, Snarf Ra, Female Snarf, and Egbert. Definitely need to see Wizra, Termagar, Claudus and Bano, Captain Bragg and Crow Nan, and also the Burbles. And then for the villains, I think we definitely need to see the Berserkers and the Lunatacs. Berserkers being Top Spinner, Cruncher, and Rambam. Lunatacs being Amok, Luna, Tugmug, and Red Eye. And then we need Driller, Safari Joe, and Demolisher as well. Alright, so we already talked about the Skycutter and Thunderstrike with Link So, Snow Meow. But here's other things I'd love to see with the Mutant Tank Fist Pounder. Gomplin. I love that guy. And then the Nose Diver. And speaking of Cat's Lair, there was a rendering done from Magnus Creative for the Cat's Lair for Super 7. So I wonder what this thing would cost if our Thunder Tank was $500. All right, so at this time, here are all the LGN that haven't been reproduced by Super 7 Ultimates. You got the Burbles with Burble Bell, Burble Burt, and Burble Bill. You have Safari Joe, the Driller from the Rampagers, Tusk Warrior, and Stinger from the Rampagers. In the Berserkers, we haven't seen Cruncher, or Top Spinner, and Rambam. So still not made, Tungasaurus, Astral Moat Monster, Thunderclaw, Mumra's Tomb Fortress, which I think is probably what we're going to see next year at SDCC 2024, and the Hovercat. I also hadn't seen Mutant Nosediver, Mutant Skycutter, Mutant Fist Pounder, 
Thunder Wings, Stilt Runner, or Luna Laser. And then Unproduced, we haven't seen the Luna Attacker, the Feliner, the Laser Saber Thunder Striker, or Thunder Strike, or also the Cannon Blaster, Lizor, Mad Bubbler, Quick Jaws, and Red Eye Unproduced. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave any kind of comments. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up. Leave any kind of comments about what you think about the Super 7 Ultimates. If you're going to hit them up, you're going to let them go. What you think about Thundercats. I know I love the Thundercats. We'll see. Talk to you guys later. And guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Pinterest, and especially over on ZachJackDan.com for all the photos you want of these videos.